백배의 폭소심한 것 멸적의 폭 침략 전쟁에는 성의의 저우풍일 대전거 이것이 백두산 흉영단군의 원 이지와 추악한 괴리 역적들을 시도 없이 죽한 적이고 반미래 글전에서 최후승리를 안아오려는 백두산 흉영단군의 계상을 과시하는 전선 최정의 포병 무력의 화력 화력 재성이 없다는 것을 다시 한번 보여주었습니다. 이는 주체의 건군 사이에 있습니다. North Korea has been showing off its latest range of ballistic missiles, and this map shows how far each one can go. As you can see, it looks like most of the United States is in range, and it's got people panicking. The real fear is that North Korea is getting closer to having a missile that could reach the mainland United States. In the west coast of the United States. Hawaii, Alaska, and the west coast. But a closer look reveals that this map doesn't exactly tell the full story as of right now. The longest range missile, the one that's supposed to put the U.S. in danger, is the Type Odong 2. It's an intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM. It's the kind of thing that the U.S. and Russia have thousands of and had used as a threat against each other during the Cold War. Hold at the ready, never less than a thousand missiles. North Korea has been working on one of its own for quite a while, except their version doesn't really work. The North Koreans have had nuclear bombs since 2006, and they could certainly attack their neighbors, but they've had no real way to deliver them to a distant target. They could try and drop one from an airplane, but it would be likely shot down well before getting to the target. The most effective way to use a nuclear bomb is to attach it to a missile. Different delivery systems determine how far the target can be. North Korea already has a huge arsenal of short and medium range missiles, but it doesn't have a working ICBM, which can hit a target 15,000 kilometers away because it's actually four missiles in one. Stacked on top of each other, each missile is used one by one to push the warhead into space. Then once it's over a target, this fourth section re-enters the atmosphere and detonates. This is a very hard thing to engineer, and it's exactly why North Korea doesn't have a working Type Odong 2 yet. Under the pretense of testing a rocket engine, the country has tested it five times, and it's failed three times. It's managed to launch into space twice, but it's never made it close to the final and crucial stage of re-entry. Theoretically, North Korea has two other ICBMs, the KN-14 and the KN-08, that are capable